On this episode of the Smoke and Barrel Show, we're going to be talking about Celebration Cigars. Hey everybody, it's Jake from Smoke and Barrel Show. I'm here with Kyle from Route 7 Cigars, and today we're going to be talking about Celebration Cigars. Now, I know there's a lot of different types of events in life that you know, you want to be able to have a good celebration cigar, whether it's a wedding or birth of a child, or maybe you're just hanging out with the guys yep. for the weekend or a bachelor party. Um, so I know there's different levels that we can, you know, look through that will fit different types of celebrations. Right. So you know, what do you look for when you're trying to pick out a different type of celebration cigar? Okay, so celebration cigars are usually something you're not going to afford as a daily cigar. You can't, yeah. you know, I mean, uh, well, unless you're Bill Gates. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but what I look for, uh, I have to ask them questions. Mm -hmm. What kind of event in it? Yeah. If it's a wedding, I'm not going to a $47 cigar. I'm not going to a strong cigar. Yeah. You have to fit in a lot of palates. Yeah. So I'm going to something that's going to meet everybody's okay. palate, and they're yeah. not going to sit there and smoke it and a little bit easier then throw it away, right? Yeah. You know, you want them to finish the cigar, at least celebrate yeah. with you. Yeah. So that's usually what I'm looking for. I, I got to ask them a bunch of questions yeah. to find out. If it's a sporting event, um, a bunch of guys, then yeah. then we're going to the the big boy. Yeah. And if they Something don't, a little bit stronger. right? And if they can't smoke it, then you spend the rest of the yeah. time giving them crap yeah, about exactly. it. That they're a lightweight, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, we're not inviting you next yeah, right. time. So really, what you're doing is trying to find out what kind of event okay. it is and how many people are going to be there yeah. and what they're looking for perfect yeah. so now i know there's different you know levels of cigars here when, when we're, we're looking at what makes you know most sense for what type of celebration whether it's you know a bigger event or a smaller event if you need to buy a handful of them or you just want one really nice one yep. um for me i i typically you know lean towards something in the mid-range between the 20 to 30 dollar range for a cell you know for a celebration cigar um, i know we've picked out some some great ones here um, you know, what do you think about this one? Okay, so this is God of Fire, made by Fuente. It's limited runs. Um, it's made of Dominican binder and filler with an Ecuadorian wrapper. It's really smooth. It's really classy. It's high end. I mean, the price is not bad at twenty three dollars, but. When you want to celebrate and you yeah. want something mild, you don't want something that's going to knock so, you so off that's your feet. To, to start this with. is really a good starter. Yes, okay. absolutely. Um, the second one in the line is either my first or second favorite cigar of all time. Um, this is the Davidoff Millennium. Again, Dominican binder and filler along with an Ecuadorian wrapper. Uh, when you light this guy up, it comes out firing, but then okay. smoothens out. Um, it hits everything my palate likes. Yeah. I've always loved this cigar. Now, does that Ecuadorian um, wrapper, is that what makes, makes it It gives smooth? it that peppery okay, so start peppery. up that you get at the beginning where the Dominican softens it off. Okay. Okay, so the third cigar is the least expensive, and at $15, this is Aladino. It's uh, Corojo Reserva. Okay. It's Corojo Binder Filler and Wrapper. So it, if I were to buy a box, so if I, for a bachelor party, this would be a good option. Uh, it would be perfect. Right? Yes, it's exactly. Gonna, it's going to make um, the boys happy and not yes, break their wallet. Uh, correct. Okay. On top of that, it's got the best ta tasting wrapper of any cigar in this humidor, okay. in my why, opinion. Why is that? Um, it's just <laughs> the taste. Uh, you just you know, taste. it's what my palate picks up. Okay. But the this has a 98% approval rate in this store okay. when I recommend it. So, yeah, I recommend it highly. Okay. Okay, the next, of course, is Padron. Padron on any level is a phenomenal cigar. Yeah. It is the f number one selling cigar in this store. Okay. Um, it's number one and two in every other store I've ever worked in. This is the 80th uh, birthday celebration cigar okay. of Jose Padron. Um, the Figurado shape starts out really, really uh, kind of, I, I would say, strong. And then builds. Okay. So it is definitely not a lightweight cigar. Okay. You're going to smoke it with guys that you know are experienced okay. smokers. So you really don't want to so do it. So something like this or can this be one done is with a, a whole bit. group of people. Okay, so a little right. easier for, for people that don't smoke. Where all this the time. one, yeah, the next three, as a matter of fact, are that way. Okay. So the one after that is Placencia. Placencia probably makes 40 to 50% of all the cigars. 
okay. on the market. All of Rocky, all of Alec Bradley, they all come from Placencia, but this is his own brand. Okay. It's called Alma Fuerte, which means strong soul, and it is <laughs> too. It's okay. strong. That Solomon, well, it starts out lighter, but then really builds okay. all the way down to the end. But again, experienced smokers, great celebration, okay. something you, yeah, want to hang with somebody else and drink. Gotcha. Um, really good. Gotcha. The now, last, now oh I know, my God. Now I know this is, is, is one of the more expensive ones. That it is the, the second table. most expensive cigar in the store. So before we get um, to this one, right, I just want to, so looking at what we have here, these are for... You know, you're more experienced smokers. These are probably more better curated for some folks that average don't, smokers. don't smoke Correct. all the time. Correct. You know, might just be getting... Yes. Getting now, you it. know, if they've really said, well, I've never smoked a cigar, then you find a $5 cigar yeah, to give they them. Because they don't know the difference. So after they take two puffs and throw <laughs> yeah. it in the ashtray, you yep. don't have to celebrate yep. their funeral. Exactly. Yes. Okay. All right. So then... The last one is a limited edition run, so you may not be able to find it. It okay. was only done in limited. It's Las, uh, Florida Las Antillas by my father. Okay. They do a specific limited edition cigar every year, okay. sometimes under the my father line, sometimes under the Antillas line. Um, this is all Nicaraguan, 100% Nicaraguan. It's really smooth. You can do this with people on any level, okay. um, even their regular line in the Antius, which was the number one cigar of the year, 2015, okay. can be done with anybody. Yeah. Um, but you better know them really well for $48, because okay. it's a $48 <laughs> cigar, and to me, that's really high yeah. end. I, I have a couple of friends that, that I know that play professional sports that, that won, one of which won the Stanley Cup last year, and I know that they, you know, they smoke high-end cigars. But yeah, if you're gonna smoke a sports celebration cigar, yeah. this has what been smoked. Here? This is El Septimo. This is a $65 cigar, by the way, okay. but it's been smoked by the LA Rams okay. and the Kansas City Chiefs in the last two Not, Super Bowl wins. Right. That's what they smoked. So, so, so you gotta earn it. Um, yes, <laughs> or you gotta know a football player yeah, or, or buy or, it for or you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> because yeah, 65 is, yeah. yeah. It's not cheap. Not a hey everybody, thanks for hanging out with us today here on the Smoke and Barrel Show, where we've talked about our selection of some of the best celebration cigars out there. We've got some of you know the more mild side that are better for a bigger celebration with folks that maybe don't smoke all the time. And then we've got a bolder selection here that are a little bit stronger for more advanced smokers. Um, we definitely would love to hear more about some of your selections for what you would consider a good celebration cigar. So definitely hit that like and subscribe button and make sure to throw your comments in below of, of what you like for uh, different celebrations and we'd love to hear from you.